start to the day, yeah. but things are changing. Oh yes, say bye to the sunshine temporarily. We have more showers in those showers though. We're gonna, it looks like get rid of all this rain just in time for the first half of the weekend. So that's fine with most of us, I think. Our busy weather watchers are saying, yeah, we're okay with the rain right now. Live look over Boston, the common, everything's greening up once again as we get a few sprinkles and the clouds rolling back into the picture right now. In Boston, so far dry, but those sprinkles and showers and perhaps nice isolated storm back in the forecast later this afternoon. The pollen count has been low. Yesterday was extremely low. We stay okay for today and it gets higher Wednesday, Thursday and Friday as more widespread dry air and warmer temperatures take over. High pressure to our south and west. We have this area of low pressure out to our east, out to sea. We're in between the clouds, the gray sky and that northerly, northeasterly airflow keeping temperatures a little bit cooler than say just to the south and west across DC or New York City. Another area of low pressure does push in for late tonight, and that's going to help to trigger these scattered showers and storms. Satellite radar right now shows the clouds in Boston and just starting to move in across Plymouth and eventually Cape Cod and across the islands. It's going to get a little cloudy. We have temperatures in the 60s in a lot of spots thanks to that early sunshine, but we're going to hold there for the rest of the day, not warming up too much more as the rain pushes in. And some of those steady showers just starting to move in between 495 and 128. Sudbury, Acton, Brief shower here moving towards Weston and eventually Newton if it holds together. Back to the south and west across Southbridge along the Pike and just to the west of Worcester plus southern New Hampshire included in the rain chance so far. But here's the hour by hour. You see more showers, very spotty, and an isolated storm will be expected throughout the day. Any of these storms that develop could produce some small hail. We have some colder air aloft and this cool pool is very close to the ground and that's an indication for some hail. So also the potential for some cloud to ground lightning and maybe that brief heavy downpour. The evening commute could be soggy for some. Take that umbrella with you for just heading out for the day or for the evening too. The spot showers, we can't shake them off until overnight tonight. Then tomorrow morning, another chance for some patchy fog, maybe some areas of drizzle and isolated showers. Otherwise, mostly cloudy. Most of the day Wednesday will be dry. Once again, some pop-up showers in the heat of the afternoon. Temperatures in the 60s for most, near 70 degrees in Taunton. We won't quite get there for today though. And if you're heading out to the beach right now across Cape Cod, you're dry, but be aware those showers will move in pretty soon. That wind light and variable and the ocean water temperatures well, kind of holding steady since we've been so gloomy and so cool the last couple of days. Temperatures will maybe gain a degree or two and then tonight we fall back down to 55 degrees. Chance for a shower, mainly cloudy skies. Tomorrow, partly sunny with an inland sprinkle, 63 degrees, light sea breeze will keep temperatures in the upper 50s along the coast. So today, Cape and Islands forecast 64 and a chance for some showers later this afternoon, Wednesday, 59 degrees. Red Sox forecast. It's going to be a little soggy for today, but much drier for Wednesday and Thursday. Thursday, we finally get into the 70s. Warmer temperatures have arrived and they're going to stay for Thursday, Friday into the first part of the weekend. But Sunday, maybe another round of some heavy rain. Kate?